Our big story, heroin overdoses are on the rise in many parts of Wisconsin, including Sauk County. But a federal grant may help put a stop to that. NBC 15's Sharon Yu explains why the county is banking on a drug called Vivitrol. Sauk County has an issue they're seeing more often. Dan Brat said the deputy director of human services for the county says in the past 20 years, the nationwide issue of heroin addiction has become a problem closer to home. It's very common and it knows no boundaries. So we, you know, I've had uh, friends of the family. I've had uh, my children went to school and we know people in the community. It's a relatively small community as is most of Sauk County and virtually everybody has a connection to somebody who, who struggles with this issue. But with a new federal grant through the state, they're on the fast track to help turn things around for many people. The grant will be used for rehab infrastructure and on-call staffing. Uh, in an urgent setting where they could go out and meet with the person, in some ways you want to strike while the iron's hot. But most importantly, the money will bring Vivitrol shots. We're able to increase medical providers using Vivitrol. We're able to increase access, remove barriers for people who may have difficulty uh, getting Vivitrol. Brad said is specifically referring to people that Lieutenant Lewis Lang sees daily. We had five or six people on withdrawal protocol just within a few day period and 10 years ago it was very rare. And Lang says he hopes the program will keep repeat offenders out of jail for good. My hope would be some of these people get clean and, and are able to stay out in society and aren't aren't constantly coming back in. In Sauk County, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. The grant is worth a total of $3 million. Sauk County will be receiving a million dollars a year for three years. And officials hope that by the time the grant runs out, their rehab network will be strong enough to stand on its own.